Hey there folks, Aldershot here, back with another episode of The Long Dark. And uh, last episode, we did some cooking, and we did a little tiny bit of exploration around the perimeter of the house. Uh, as usual, off camera, I did some organizing, uh, mainly getting prepared to go out and explore some more of Pleasant Valley, because we seem to have been trapped in this homestead for a good few episodes now. Uh, plus, we're running really low on supplies, so we need food, and we really need bandages, so... And also, off-camera, I boiled some water as well, because we needed that, so now, we also need firewood. So, we need a whole bunch of stuff, guys, <laughs> and so hopefully today, we can find some of that stuff. It is getting kind of late today, today is day 7 of our adventure, by the way. We survived for over a week, so, pat on the back for us. <laughs> it's really as much your victory as mine because you guys have been leaving some wonderful wonderful tips that have been helping me out with my game and I definitely encourage you guys to leave more tips if you guys see fit all right uh, but anyways we're gonna check on our rabbit snares before we go to bed while there's still a little bit of daylight hopefully hopefully we can find them because in our last episode we lost one of our traps. I'm sure it's there somewhere set up. I just never found it, so there is that. Uh, but anyways, let's see if we can find it before we go to bed. Making sure our, our condition's good, of course. Is that a trap up there? No, it's just a rabbit jumping around. I think that's a trap up ahead, maybe? Or is that just a rabbit? I'm not really sure. I think that's just a rabbit, actually. Oh, oh, wait, wait, here it is. Did we get ourselves another rabbit? Oh, juicy. Nice, guys. Nice. <laughs> we'll definitely harvest it. Harvest some meat out of that. Let's hope we don't end up falling asleep in the snow. Checking our stats. Okay, I think we still got time to harvest some hide out of it. Harvest some of that as well. And now it's getting real dark. We gotta head inside, guys. We gotta head inside. It's getting a bit dangerous. Pull out the old lantern. Turn that baby on. And we have lights. Alright, here we go. We got plenty of lantern fluid, so I'm not too concerned. I'm still a cheapskate, though. I'd still rather not use the lantern, if possible. I think we'll turn it off now. Because I'm going to just kind of guess where the door is. Uh, maybe that was a bad idea. Okay, turning it back on. <laughs> I can't see diddly squat. Okay, here we go. Now we can turn it off. Turning it off. There we go. Very good. Alright, folks. We're going to take a little nap. Get ready for the next day. Our condition's quite good, actually. Uh, let's see. I don't think we need to eat much. It's pretty late. Uh, let's see here. Our calories is... Uh, one... Yeah, I think we're good, guys. I think we're good. You know what? We'll drink a soda. I'm a little hesitant on doing it because we are actually running kind of low on sodas, but... Uh, just in case, because I believe our condition is still not 100%, no, 76%, so a nice long sleep should bring us back up to 100%. So at least if we get attacked by another bunch of wolves, we maybe won't die. I can only hope anyways. Uh, let's see here, 9 hours, I think that's a bit too much. 518. Uh, okay, whatever. We'll sleep for nine hours. We'll wake up during the daytime anyways. And by the way, guys, it looks like they keep hot fixing this game past version 1.92. Uh, it's actually up to version 2.0 now. So that's kind of interesting. They keep optimizing it. Uh, apparently, there's been some crashing issues on certain load points. I've never experienced it, thank God, but apparently that's a thing. But it's nice to know that the developers are on the up and up and they are working on the game improving it where necessary so it's not a bad thing at all of course i'm gonna drink some water so it's good to see that hinterland studios is on top of things which is nice of course uh let's see we should have enough water and food for the day our hunger is mediocre you know i will eat the jerky uh there's only 350 calories anyways and that's about as much as we need before we go out exploring the wilderness of Pleasant Valley. I'm a little bit fearful. I'm afraid of getting lost and not being able to find my way back to the homestead. It's definitely, knowing myself, it's definitely, definitely 
a possibility, guys. <laughs> so, oh boy, here we go. Let's let's hope for the best. I'm gonna take a little bit more water though. I did throw most of my gear in here. Uh, we'll take a tomato soup as well. Actually, I don't know. I think we're pretty good at food. I just want a little tiny bit more water. Portable. Just 50 more liters. 0.5 liters, I mean. Transfer, and that should be enough. All right, folks, we're gonna head out. Uh, wish me the best. Okay, wish me the best. We might need it. Our rifle is home, but we're bringing three flares with us. All right. So let's hope the weather is good. Let's hope it's actually an explorable temperature. Uh, it's not bad. I can see it getting better through the day as well. It's still early in the morning, 641. And at least it's it looks nice. At least it's pleasant. All right. Now, we did leave two traps. I'm going to quickly see if I can find a second trap before I head out as well. Uh, because, as you recall from last episode, <laughs> I, I just laid a trap on some regular, any old place, because uh, I'm bad with remembering things. Oh, look, we got another rabbit. Wow, that was quick. Okay. Well, I'll take it. Oh, this is the same rabbit, right? I should probably take the snare. Take that. Okay. See if we can find the other snare. I'm pretty sure it's lost, to be completely honest. Which makes me a little bit sad. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, anything, come on game, uh, well, I guess not, I guess it's, it's just lost, so, there's nothing left to gather from this stuff here, alright, well, we'll just set up the trap here, maybe we'll find it on another time or something like that, anyways, uh, equipment, snare, place, right here, next to these carcasses, seems to be proving quite well. Uh, 20 to 22. Actually, the weather's going up, but who cares? We're going to go exploring anyways and hope for the best, guys. Okay? <laughs> Help me out. Help me out. Like, I'm so afraid of getting lost. It's definitely a possibility. Uh, let's see here. What we're going to do is explore beyond this bridge here. I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to explore around that area. At least we have some sort of landmark to find our way back home, if necessary. We just have to recall that it's going to be close to the bridge, which is pretty easy to spot from the looks of it. Uh, so, there is that. And again, our goal is to find medical supplies, namely bandages, uh, food, uh, bullets, all the bullets, and firewood. Definitely, definitely firewood. We need more tinder plugs as well, because uh, we left like over 50 batches of them in our car back in uh back by the farm now i know we go back here at least to the farm so we're not going to do that we don't need to go back to the farm looks already like a new day is dawning looks like a new day is dawning indeed so we're going to go up here and see what that brings us i'm going to follow the road just double checking the car because i tend to be kind of forgetful oh locked okay we have a pry bar so we will open that up and see what kind of loot we can find granola bar New mittens. Oh, very good. Stoda. Excellent. Alright. Pretty good loot, actually. I already have a pair of mittens, but mittens is definitely fat loot in the context of the long dark anyways. Probably not great loot if you're playing something like an RPG. <laughs> I don't know what kind of magic buffs mittens are going to grant you, but in the long dark, when you're dealing with extreme cold weather, mittens is a fantastic find. Let's see here. This just leads us back to our home. Good to know. Weather's still kind of bad. 20 minus 22 is pretty damn cold. We did actually repair our clothing a little bit off camera as well, so that should help us keep warm. Hopefully, this road will lead us somewhere anew, somewhere interesting. This fog's definitely gonna not help us at all <laughs> when it comes to discovery. I don't understand how come every time we decide to head out and explore a little bit, it's freaking foggy. Why? Why, Long Dark? Why? I swear, the entire time that we've been here in the Pleasant Valley, it's been kind of foggy. <laughs> it's a little bit annoying, to be honest. But we're going to keep exploring uh, the path down here. Alright. Hopefully we don't bump into any wolves. That would be... Uh, that would be less than ideal, for sure. Oh, speaking of which, goddamn. Let's keep moving. Let's mo keep moving. I really, really don't want to deal with them. I don't have a rifle either. I didn't bring it anyways. I do have a rifle. It's just left back home. The damn thing weighs so much. 
is like four kilograms. I'm not sure how many pounds that is, but it's a whole lot of pounds, right? Still doing pretty good. Still doing pretty good. So we should be able to keep moving along this road. Hopefully we can find another building or some sort of settlement. This is a really large map, as I'm sure most of you have realized. Uh, again, Hinterland Studios mentioned that this is the largest map to the game so far. In fact, it doubles uh, the overall uh, landscape of the Long Dark, including all areas combined. So, we got a lot to explore, guys. We haven't even scratched the surface. Looks like there's some loot in the back as well. Check that. Definitely need this. We could use that. Sure, why not? Okay, weather doing okay. Luckily, we got our pry bar. We can open up these locked trunks. Anything good? Anything good? A hat. Some soda. Ooh, some water. Nice. Very good. That's still looking pretty good. Weather is getting a little tiny bit better. A little tiny bit better. So the road's getting awfully snowy. But at least we know how to find our way back home if necessary. One of these days when I get more familiar with this map, or eventually actually, I'm sure it will come to a point where I'm probably going to need to explore off the beaten path, if you will. There's probably some loot that I'll need to find and discover off that. Okay, so it looks like we followed the road past the homestead, at least to a dead end, guys. There we go. We discovered something. We discovered nothing. <laughs> so what we're going to do is we're going to make the best of a bad situation. We're going to follow the perimeter of this landscape and see if we can find something. So, so far, from what I've gathered, Pleasant Valley, although being really, really big and lots to explore and all that stuff, not a whole lot to explore. Like, not a whole lot of defining features, though. A lot of empty landscape. So far, anyways. Uh, I know for a fact the coastal highway, you can't move any more than five steps without finding a building or some sort of structure to explore. Which is one reason why I kind of like that map, actually. Uh, if we die in Pleasant Valley, I'm thinking about doing a let's play of the coastal highway. Because that's not a map that I covered very much on this channel. Uh, it's been mostly the lakeside cabins and Pleasant Valley. So we'll see how that goes. Hopefully it won't come to it because I don't want to die. <laughs> I don't want to die. But at the same time, we haven't really found anything overly interesting either. Which is a bit problematic. Uh, our coal is due mediocre. I really would like to find some sort of shelter though to warm up. A cabin, a little shack, anything at this point, anything. Uh, do I dare go up there? No, let's, let's keep following the perimeter of the lake. Because if necessary, we can follow, we are kind of following him back though, all the same. I know this is probably going to lead us back, but we'll see, we'll see. Maybe we'll find something kind of interesting. A little pro tip when you're going uphill, guys, do zigzags. Definitely do zigzags. Uh, that'll help you move faster. You know, you'll, you'll have to cover more distance, sure. But you're not taking up as much energy going up the hill. It's better to kind of zigzag your way up there. We're going to grab a quick bite to eat while we're here. Uh, eat this because it weighs a ton. <laughs> well, maybe not a ton, but definitely a kilogram. And that's still pretty heavy. Oh, look guys, we found a bear. We're going to leave him alone though. I don't want to get mauled. Yeah, I definitely don't want to. I don't feel like dying today. No siree, Bob. Don't feel like dying. It's cool that we found a beer, though. He, he seems to be following us. Hello, Mr. Beer. Let's be friends. Don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Oh! Look at this, guys. A cave. This looks like a beer cave. No loot or anything, though. But we did find a cave. Which is kind of cool. Probably like a spawn point for the beer. Oh, we're getting awfully close to this thing. I don't know if flares scare them. They seem to be relatively passive, to be honest. I don't think they're going to hurt you unless you hurt them, from my experience. Like, we were pretty damn close to Mr. Beer. Okay, pretty damn close. Didn't, didn't charge at us. Just good. Just good. Hopefully I'm not getting lost. Guys, this fog is making me really, really uneasy. <laughs> uh, hopefully we don't get lost. Oh no, I forgot to bring firewood. 
That's also really bad. Okay, okay, okay. New goal, guys. New goal. We're, we're going back home. <laughs> we're going back home. I'm getting really nervous. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. Uh, I believe if we follow the lake, it will lead us back to the general area of the homestead. Hopefully we can find some shelter before that. That would be a good thing. I don't want to break my ankle. Don't break my ankle. Thank you. Thank you, game. This game loves breaking my ankles, that's for sure. Alright, game. Enough of your funny business. Give me something to loot. Come on now. A corpse? Uh, a carcass? Something? Something? At least stop with the fog. That would be super duper cool. I would greatly appreciate that, Mr. Longdark. Or Mrs. Longdark. I don't know. I don't know. Either way. Let's see here. Anything at all. Anything at all. Okay, well, we're going to try and find the road and head back, guys. Uh, I'm getting too nervous here. We're getting cold. Um, I didn't bring firewood, which is super derpy of me. You never go on an adventure like this without firewood. Because, you know, when it comes down to it, you want to lay down some fire and not freeze to death, right? I mean, it's kind of a waste of fire. I'd rather use it to cook and to do all that kind of stuff. But it's a survival thing, right? Oh god, I hope we're not lost, guys. I don't see the road. But I keep wanting to explore over the hills, too, so that's probably not helping things. Damn this fog. Damn it to hell. <laughs> it's not making things easy, that's for sure. Alright, alright, alright. Calm your nerves, Aldershot. Don't, don't be scared. You'll be fine. I'm pretty sure I'm, I'm going the right direction back to the farmstead. I'm pretty sure. Not 100%, but pretty sure. I kind of recognize this area, I think. Okay, don't break my ankle. Don't break my ankle. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, this looks kind of familiar, so maybe this is back home. Oh, let's go up this hill. This is exact up. If this game lets me. It does tend to have some invisible walls, which is a bit annoying. Uh, so you do have to watch out for that. Oh god, guys. We're f starting to freeze. We're starting to get real, real cold. We're going to go this way because I believe that's where the road is. I don't mind burning the calories. That's fine. We got enough food. I'm more worried about our temperature right now. And considering this game is in the harsh, harsh winter, is probably not a good thing to be worried about. Or maybe it's the very thing that you should be worried about. Who knows? Well, so far, Pleasant Valley is a lot of wilderness from the looks of it. Oh, looks like we found something. Looks like we found something. Thank, thank God. Okay, looks like an abandoned something farm thing. We're going to keep following these things. And maybe we can find Three Strikes Farmstead. Ooh, a new area, guys. We found a new area. Let's hope there's some shelter around here. Free Strike Farmstead. Well, we can't spend too much time looking either. We've got to find some shelter. It looks like there's something up here. Seems to be shacks. Maybe we can find some firewood. We can start some fire. Ooh. Alright, we don't have to... Oh, good. Okay, that's a snare. Never mind. Fire barrel. Cardboard matches. Uh... Can we start fuel? None. Okay. I was hoping to find some firewood. Okay, good, good, good. Some firewood. Two pieces. Excellent. Oh my god. Look at this, guys. Oh my god. <laughs> we hit a bit of a jackpot. Okay, okay. We're going to take a little rest. We're going to start a fire. I think that is the appropriate thing to do. Uh, da, 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 da. What am I trying to do here? I'm a little, uh, I'm a little nervous right now because I don't want to die. Let's see here. Uh, bid roll. That's what I'm looking for. So it's under equipment. And 69%. So we're going to drop this. And pick up the new one. Because I'm pretty sure that one... That's 89%. Yeah, that's much better. Actually, can we can we destroy the old bid roll? Is that possible? Oh yeah, we can. Okay, cool. Well, we'll take it. We're going to start to fire first. So we don't end up freezing while we're um, harvesting. Use this. 
Uh, no bandages, a bit unfortunate, but I'll take what I can get right now. Okay, good, 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 good. We got some loot. We're gonna warm ourselves up, feed ourselves. Gonna be all good, guys. Gonna be all good. Start a fire right here. Uh, 75% with that accelerant, I think I'll take that. And start fire. It will take a little bit longer for the fire to start without accelerant, so there is that. Uh, if you do use accelerant, not only do you get a higher chance of actually starting the fire, but you will also have a higher chance of... Uh, or not, not a higher chance, but you also save some time. Like right now, we're, it's taking forever for it to start. But it started, that's what matters. Okay, so we got a little bit of fire, which is good. We're a little bit tired, it's only early in the morning. We might actually sleep some of this off. Uh, we're gonna grab some food. Eat the heavy stuff, of course. Definitely eat the heavy stuff. Uh, let's check our stats. Our thirst is doing pretty terrible, so we'll grab some of that. I don't know what the hell I was looking at just then. <laughs> just kind of looked off in the distance there, don't mind me. Drink some of this water here, that's what we brought it for. Wet our whistle just a little bit. Looking pretty good, guys. Looking pretty good. Alright, well, we'll just harvest some meat. While the fire is good. Actually, I kind of want to take a nap first, so we'll do that. We'll roll out our bed roll. Oh, I hear wolves. Let's hopefully they don't come at us. That'll be good. <laughs> Obviously. Uh, let's see here. Let's sleep for a couple hours. Three hours, maybe? Yeah, let's rest for three hours. Get nice and warmed up, you know, be on our way. We did find something though, guys. We found a new area, which is kind of neat. Pick that up. Can we take anything here? No. Uh, our temperature, fatigue, everything is looking very good, guys. We're away from the danger zone, if you will. Uh, we're going to harvest some meat out of this. It will take some time. And we do have an extra piece of firewood in case we need to start another fire as well, which is really really good we're gonna harvest everything out of this that we can how long is this gonna take 40 minutes that's fine that's fine we're definitely gonna take the guts out of it as well more sneers the better maybe we can start catching like dozens of rabbits at a time that would be kind of neato all right so we are gonna waste a fair amount of time carving st harvesting this so we should probably start making our way back home at this point we're gonna eat some stuff eat the heavy stuff again of course 500 calories we could use that uh, it is starting to get to that time where we should probably make our way back home. But not all is lost, guys. We actually got some progress out of this. We found a new area, which is pretty neato. I forget what's it called already. <laughs> this place here. The fog died down, thank God. Uh, and we found a little bit of loot on our way. Found a little bit of loot. Not too much. Not as much as I was hoping. And I believe this path will take us back to the farmer's homestead. So, so there you go, guys. Not a complete waste, not at all. We found a carcass as well, which definitely helps. It looks like, is that another carcass? Oh, it is excellent, very, very good. Oh, is there anything, oh, we can't take anything out of it. It must be an old, must be an old carcass, actually. Or maybe we found it already, I don't know. This all kind of looks the same to me at this point. <laughs> Snow, rocks, sky. Albeit, very, very pretty looking snow, very, very pretty looking rocks, and very, very pretty looking skies. So I'll give it that much. Okay, this is definitely looking familiar. I'm feeling a little bit easier now. You know, I definitely recognize uh, this bridge here. So, all right, mission success, guys. We explored some, uh, we explored a new area. You know, we found a new area. We, uh, we got out of a fairly dire situation, I think. Looks like there's some wolves up there. I don't think I explored this little shed hut thing. I definitely want to check that out. Definitely going to check that out. Before I head home. Ooh, it looks like there's a carcass in there. Guys, this is, this is a good run, actually. We're finding some pretty good stuff here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, who needs a rifle? Who needs a rifle when you have carcasses? And a hatchet. We need to find a new hatchet as well. Or, although, I think we can make repairs, maybe. Uh, 
Okay, so let's let's gather the meat out of this. So we can get some food. And it is something that we are looking for. We are definitely looking for some food. Uh, we'll, I think we actually might have enough hide to start crafting some stuff. So we'll probably do that in our next episode as well. And we definitely got a fair amount of guts now. We only we need more reclaimed wood though. That's the only thing. We need more reclaimed wood. That's for sure. Okay, I'm back. Uh, still looking pretty good. We just have to find our way back home. Uh, I don't... I, I Hopefully it won't be too much of an issue. And we're going to follow this little thing here. I think that'll take us back home, hopefully. Hopefully. We definitely don't want to go that way. <laughs> some, some wolves there. We definitely don't want that. Uh, if only we could find the road again. It'll make things a lot easier. But I think this should take us back home to our homestead. I do believe it will. Hopefully I'm not wrong. Because um, I have two big fears in life, guys. And this extends into the video game world as well. I'm, I'm deathly, deathly afraid of heights. Okay? You'll never catch me bungee jumping. That has nothing to do with the game right now, but the second fear I have, IRL and in video games, is getting lost. You know? It just freaks me out when I don't know where I am. <laughs> uh, it's, it, it's really, really freaky to me. And right now I'm kind of getting that sensation, which makes me a little bit uneasy. Oh my god, another rifle! Sweet! And bullets! And flares! Oh my god, and bandages, guys. We hit the mother load. We hit the freaking mother load. Thanks, dead guy. You're, you're a buddy. You're alright, man. I'm gonna call you Jim. Thanks so much, Jim. You are a pal, let me tell you. <laughs> okay. Oh my god, the firewood! All the firewood! So much firewood! And the loot! Oh my god, guys. Pay dirt. Pay dirt. <laughs> we are doing alright. We are doing alright indeed. We found another rifle. All that kind of good stuff. Now we just have to find our way back home. And then we should be okay. Should be doing okay. We're a bit encumbered. Not surprising because of the rifle. Uh, and a lot of this meat here. I'm gonna try and make our way anyways. We don't want to dump any of this stuff. This is all good loot here, guys. We got some fat stuff. We'll eat some food is what we'll do. We'll eat some of the heavy stuff. Uh, point five. This gives us a lot. Though. I don't really want to waste that. Uh, we'll drink a soda. That should get rid of some weight. Here we go. Let's check on our stats. We'll eat a little chocolate bar. That should also help get it rid of a little bit of weight anyways. Okay, looking pretty good. Let's keep moving. Let's see if we can find our way back to the, uh, the, the homestead. But like I was saying, definitely big fears of mine. Getting lost uh, is a huge fear of mine. I remember once, like, I'm, I'm a Canadian. So we have the famous Trans Canada Highway or or T Oh there's there's the bridge, so we are close. Excellent. Is that a wolf? Fuck 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 that's a wolf. God damn, god damn, god damn, god damn, god damn, that's a wolf. Okay, run away, run away, run away. I don't want to deal with him. I'll tell you my story on Trans Canada Highway later. Don't want to deal with the wolf. Okay, I don't think it caught our sense. Which by the way is one of the things that this game has updated. Uh they changed the way that the wolves Sent you, I guess. The wind can. Shit. Go away, go away. Oh, god damn it. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh. Am I bleeding? I am bleeding. Shit, 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 shit. No affections. Okay, no afflictions. Okay, let's just go. Let's just go. We're gonna run away. Screw this. Screw this. We got too much good loot on us. It didn't take much of a bite out of us, though, luckily. It didn't even make us bleed. We were able to hatchet it off quite quickly. So we're gonna just make our way back home. <laughs> oh my god, guys. These wolves... Uh, these wolf attacks are freaking me out so much. Uh, but anyways, back to my story. There was one time I was trying to visit a friend on the trans Canada Highway. And it's kind of a long trip, you know, while I was, I was driving. Uh, the fog rolled in because in Newfoundland, Canada, it's foggy like 75% of the time in that province. And it was really, really thick fog. It freaked me the hell out. You know, it was highway. It's it's a hundred kilometers. Uh, it's a hundred kilometer kind of road thingy. You guys are familiar with highways, but I was going like forty, 
because I the sense of being lost just freaked me out. I was just like, oh god, I don't know what to do. But there you go, guys. This is my little story of on the Trans Canada Highway, and we found our way back home, and we got loot, and we didn't die from the wolf attack. All good things, guys. I think this is a mission success. It's a mission success in my books, anyways. Uh, our temperature's still doing pretty good. Actually, our temperature's doing absolutely fantastic. It's even going down, which is pretty good. So, but we are going to go back. We are going to go back and put away some stuff, because I don't think we can actually carry on under being encumbered. I definitely don't want to risk it. Because we've survived over a week now, guys. That's, that's wicked. That's amazing in my eyes, because... Oh, generally, I'm not I'm not overly super great at this game. <laughs> I definitely definitely enjoy it, and I've definitely been getting a lot better at this game. Uh, large part due to you guys leaving me really really useful hints and tips and all that stuff. I really do appreciate that, guys. I really do. So keep it up. If you guys can see where I'm playing a little bit inefficiently, you know, you have any tips, uh, let me know. Let me know in the comments. Uh, if you think I'm doing anything right and I should continue doing it. Let me know in the comments as well, you know. Uh, I definitely don't mind my ego being stroked just a little bit. <laughs> I am a YouTuber, after all. Anyways, we don't need this anymore, so... Huck, there we go. Alright, folks, I think that'll do it for this episode of The Long Dark. Pretty productive, guys. Pretty productive. We got some supplies. We got some meat. Uh, we found a new area, we'll continue looking for more new areas in the next episode. Because we still need more firewood, we only have about one or two pieces. Uh, and we still need more medical supplies, we only have one piece of bandage after all. Uh, but other than that guys, we're doing really well. I, I gotta say, this is definitely one of my best games. And I'm really happy to be able to share it with you folks, I really, really am. And uh, keep it up, keep it up, keep watching, let me know what you think and all that kind of good stuff. Uh, show me some love if you haven't already, like, share, fave, and comment. And subscribe and I'll bring you more videos like this, more long dark, more video games of various variety. And oh look, more stuff that I miss in this house. <laughs> and all that kind of good stuff. Anyways folks, I'm going to get out of here. Thank you for watching. All the shout outs.